We practice missed approaches in training, but in the real world, rarely do we go all the way down to minimums, execute a go around, and dutifully do the full published missed approach procedure and hold. Let's have a look at a real world missed approach scenario. We're going to feed in real air traffic communications from liveatc.net. We've changed some of the specifics of the actual flight, like the type of aircraft and some other things, to fit the instruction, but this is what a real missed approach might sound like at a busy airport. We're on the RNAV to runway 24 at busy Teterboro, New Jersey. Everything starts off fairly routine, and we get our landing clearance. Number 514 X-ray runway 24, clear the land with 300 at 18 gust 26. Clear the land with 24, X-ray. This approach is offset from the center line of the runway, and with the wind from our right, the runway is even more to the left of our nose. At night like this in marginal conditions, it's easy to get disoriented. We get to our minimum descent altitude and begin to proceed visually and line up with the runway. Due to the wind or whatever else, we misjudge our descent and end up a bit low. Air traffic control is right there to help. Hello to alert number 514. Actually, check out to me. We got to measure 29 or 52. Things aren't going well. Let's give it full power and go missed. Cram the throttle, initiate the climb, clean the flaps, and when we're ready, we'll call our missed. For X-rays, go missed. Number 514, X-ray, roger, fly to publish missed. Publish missed, 114. Now, we're still on the final approach segment. We haven't got to the missed yet, so we need to re-intercept the approach course and get to the missed approach point, BAFE. Once we're there, we can hit suspend on the GPS and fly the published mist and climb to 1500 direct to Bubke. 514, X-ray, contact New York Depart- Oh, what was the reason for the go around? We just, uh, we just missed it one for X-ray. No worries, number 514, X-ray, contact departure on 135.57. 135, We're a bit busy, so we give a slightly less than complete answer to ATC here, maybe. The controller has to ask a reason for the missed approach. So it's not a bad idea in training to get in the habit of letting the tower know why you're going missed when making your first call. Hey, Newark, uh, 514, we see 1,400. We're 514, X-ray, Newark, right of contact, maintain 2,000. Roger, 2,000, one for X-ray. Departure has changed up our instructions from the published mist. Originally, we were to hold 1,500 above Gee. We're still going above Gee, but ATC has cleared us to 2,000 right away. Number 514 X-ray, climbing team 3,000. What was the reason for the go around? Uh, 3,000, and uh, we lost the runway last second, one for action. Uh, number 514 X-ray, you want to try it again? Hey, farm. Number 514 X-ray, flying 280, back to free sequence. Hey, 280, one for X-ray. So at this point, we've completely done away with the missed approaches published. We're told to maintain 3000, and rather than follow any published portion of the missed, we're vectored to 280 for the resequence, meaning we'll be doing the approach again so we can reload it into our GPS. We'll start it from the initial approach fix, STRAD, but our expectation is that we won't be flying all the way out to that point, but be vectored in a rectangular pattern to intercept the published segment of the approach somewhat closer in. Those instructions come from ATC in the form of successive vectors. Number 514 X-ray flighting 310. All right, 310, 114. 514 X-ray contact approach 120.15. Number 514 X-ray heading 360. 360, 14 X-ray. Number 514 X-ray, turn right, heading 040. 040, On the 040 heading now, we might assume that ATC is setting us up to intercept the approach between Nippy and Wheezy, so we activate the leg between those two points. However, as is so often the case with ATC, especially in busy airspace near Newark like this, they can change the plans from a vector to intercept to a direct to a fix instruction. Now on a heading of 080, it looks like we're going direct to Wheezy, but we'll wait until ATC makes it official to make any changes to the GPS. Number 514 X-ray, go direct to Wheezy, intercept the approach course. Right, Roger, check Wheezy, and uh, we'll do 114. Now we can hit direct, enter, enter to go direct to Wheezy. Number 514 X-ray, cross Wheezy at 2000, cleared RNF 24 approach. 
All right, uh, we've got 2,000 cleared RNAV, uh, 2-4, 1-4, we're cleared for the approach, and we can descend from our last assigned altitude of 3,000 down to 2. We're going to go from Wheezy to Shrew, where we turn inbound on the final approach course and could go down to 1,700. At Wheezy, we get handed off the tower. 514 X-ray call Cedarbro, tower 1 on a plane 5. All right, 925, 14. For tower, 514 X-rays uh, over Wheezy, RNF 24. 514 X-ray Cedarbro, tower runway 24, continue traffic, we'll hold in position to part 24 prior year arrival. I continue to for our uh, RNAV 504 action. Five one four X ray wind three four zero at one two gust one nine runway two four to the land. Clear there two four five one four action. And once again we get our landing clearance. The winds have calmed down just a little bit, so it should be easier to get set up for landing once we arrive at the MDA, begin the visual segment of the approach, and move over to intercept the runway center line and bring it down. All in all, a very eventful missed approach and reattempt. The reality is that this is how a real world missed approach looks. It's not as cookie cutter as flying a static published missed approach. You'll be dealing with questions from ATC and instructions that don't always reveal the full plan to you immediately. Try to maintain situational awareness of what the controller is trying to do for you and what they expect. And of course, Make sure you're joining Flight Insight for IFR training in our online ground schools by visiting the link here or in the description today.